At the University of Guelph Arboretum, Chris Early is the interpretive biologist and education coordinator. He's with us here today to walk us through the process of bird banding, primarily with black capped chickadees. So, there we go. We're holding it in the bander's grip, just like that. Okay. And we put on the silver band first. Environment Canada supplies the metal identification bands, and the records can be relayed back to them. We make sure that this is 59, is that right? Okay. You may be wondering how exactly the black-capped chickadee ended up in the bag in the first place. We utilized mist nets at the Arboretum with the addition of some pseudo bird calls to attract and capture the birds. The process of capturing and untangling the individuals causes some temporary stress for the birds, but with good care, they'll be on their way shortly unharmed. And now, back to Chris. Put the band on the post. Open up the band. And then they go in these pliers so that you can't crush the band farther than you're supposed to. And we put it on the right leg. So we put it right there on the right leg. And shut it, rotate it a little bit, shut it again. We make sure there's no seam. Well, there we go. So this guy is already banded. Woohoo! Now we're going to color band him or her. And this is going to be green over silver, green over blue. So these plastic bands are easier there we go, um, to put on because they just have a seam in them. So we just use this little silver thing. Finding the seam is a bit of a problem sometimes. There we go. And so we spread the, that open like that. And we slide it over the leg and then slide it off. And let's make sure it shuts. So green over silver, and then green over blue. Put the blue one on first. And you want to do it so green over blue when the bird is perched, that it's green over blue, green over silver, green over blue. All right, so, and we've got that written down in here. And we've got kiosk. So now we need to age the bird. If the chickadee's tail is like this one, and so it's a hatchier bird here. So you can see we get use this book that has these different drawings that we use as um, as guidelines for aging. And so we look at the chickadee's tail is like this one. So that means that this chickadee hatched this year. So Chris, how long will these bands remain on an individual bird? So forever. So these are, this is its lifetime. Now we do a wing cord. So we do a measurement to wing cord. That's all you have available. And oh, this guy's 67. So he's got a nice long wing. So we pop him back in the bag. There we go. And make sure he doesn't come out of the bag. Then we tie the bag, especially for chickadees because they're skin artists. And then we put them on here and weigh the chickadee. So 11.2. And you put them into Bander's grip, so the same grip that Chris was using. And this guy you can see is holding the bag. Yeah, he is. Can you just show us a close-up of the Bander's grip? This is Bander's. Okay. So he's nice and secure. His head won't move around between my fingers. And we're not hurting the bird. And we're not hurting the bird. So now I'm gonna pass him using photographer's grip. You wanna get their legs comfortable between your fingers. And then you're going to seal it off so that their joint is between all three fingers. And then once he stops biting me, <laughs> there photographer's we have it. grip. Nice. And then to let them go, you just let them kind of sit on your arm. And since they've been in the bag, they'll usually just sit for a little bit. <laughs> Back to the Arboretum. Bird banding is an exciting and important process that allows us to better understand migration routes, Good. behavior patterns, huh? breeding biology, the physiology of the birds, range mapping, and family networks. For more information, please visit the University of Guelph Arboretum's website linked in the description below.